Hey everybody, how are you doing today? I'm super, super excited. We are gonna show you two of my favorite drinks. This is how we drink coffee back in Greece at the home, pretty much all year round. Drinks are Fred Espresso and Fredo Cappuccino. You might have seen sometimes when you were on holidays there. All you need to use pretty much is um, if you have like a professional mixer, that's great. It's gonna work really, really nice. If not, you can just get yourself a handheld online. And I choose to brew those um, with Brazil Sao Silvestre. The reason is because it's a very sweet, full-bodied coffee, and that's what I'm looking for here. Finally, you'll have your double shot of espresso, ice, and a glass, a strainer as well, just to avoid any bubbles. And we're also gonna need some straws. So the important thing here is to start working a bit quickly. We have freshly brewed espresso. Uh, there's a negative effect, unfortunately, when we're gonna start cooling it down, we're gonna lose all the crema. So using two ice cubes in a jug, in a metallic jug, I'll pour the espresso and we're gonna recreate the crema in a cold form. So just blend it for about 30 seconds. That will instantly cool down the drink. Fill about four or five ice cubes in your glass. Place the strainer on and gently strain the drink. Don't forget your straw and enjoy. For our next drink, Freddo Cappuccino, we are gonna use the same base uh, drink as we had for Freddo Espresso here. We're just gonna top it up with really nice, creamy, cold froth milk. Um, for that, we are gonna need actually long life whole milk. Um, the reason why we're using that is because it creates a way creamier texture than regular fresh milk. And we're gonna just pour it into a shaker. Trick here and key point is to have that sitting on temperature between zero and three degrees Celsius, so near on the freezing point. And from there on, we just gently add some uh, texture to it. Lovely, so that's ready to be poured. Now we can process it by gently tapping on the side to eliminate any bubbles we have left and polish gently. Now grab your glass and we're gonna start turning it around while slowly pouring the froth. You can top it all the way up. Don't worry about that getting too milky. It's mostly froth, so it's actually gonna be even nicer when it starts melting down over the drink. There we go, enjoy. For your home version, if you don't have an espresso machine at home, what I recommend is to use AeroPress Concentrate or a stovetop mocha pot. That way you can get still quite some body, a little sweetness out of the coffee. And yeah, just use a, the handheld instead and it's still gonna work fine. And moving on for our milk drink, I'm gonna take our handheld version. And this time, instead of using um, whole long life milk, we're gonna use skim milk. And the reason is because we don't have enough power uh, to froth whole milk. So I'm just gonna pretty much start and stop adding a little bit of air in at a time. The difference here is gonna be that it's not gonna be as creamy uh, as it is with whole milk. Nevertheless, you should still get a Decent froth on top of your drink. Brilliant. Set this aside. And again, the same pouring technique. There you go. Enjoy. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you did like it, please like and subscribe and stay in touch for more coffee content.